Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio with another Carve December project. This is day number three. <laughs> I'm slightly behind already. All right, so I've been thinking about this since last night, how I struggled with the fine line stuff. So I think I'm going to make something larger today because my brain hurt after yesterday. <laughs> I just was not feeling it. All right, let me put this onto the side and get a piece of paper. All the paper I'm using are those lovely scraps that, no, that's too big, are the scraps from uh, bookmaking things. And I decided that I needed to use some of those up. This is the perfect project for that. All right, so I think this time I am not going to mess around. Whoop, that's really wonky. I don't want to mess around with um, silly things like, you know, fine detail. I think I need a couple more weeks of <laughs> practice. I really ought to do this year round, but there's so many other things that I enjoy doing. I try to cram as much in as I can. All right, so I'm going to, this uh, template has a mark here and here and here and here for the centers. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about the light. We're having an yet another cloudy day. And I'm moving my lights around so you can see, but I'm sitting in the dark. All right. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is, I, I know this was cut straight because it was for a bookmaking project. So I'm going to take my template and I'm going to line up the two little lines here and here. And I'm going to draw this. So I'm rest assured that this really will match. At least I hope it will. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so I should have lined them up so that I know right where they are, huh? That would be most helpful. See, this is why you sketch stuff out first before you... What's my mother used to say? Going off half-cocked? Well, welcome to my world. <laughs> I plan a lot of stuff in advance, but this was not the stuff I planned in advance. All right, so I'm going to take... Is this the same one? No. Is this it? No. Is this the one? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. Oh, phooey. Really? I don't think it is. Okay, I found one that's more scooped. It's, uh, I don't know how to get to make it so you can see. It's more semicircle. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around this way. 
and try to get as much of the black pencil, graphite, as possible without ruining the circle. And there we go. Oh, that, that doesn't go very deep. That's lovely. All right, so then I'm going to just kind of clean it up a little bit around the edge here. When I stamp it, I'll know if I've gone deep enough. I don't think I have. So I need to go back around with, uh, where's the other one? Oh, let's see, where's the other? Nope, that's too small. This one. I think I'm gonna go around this way with the larger one so that I can scoop out more around the edge so that the ink is only good on the part I intend for it to show. Okay, so I've taken this and I'm trying to finish, finish out this circle on the other one. Well, maybe. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay, let me try this making this edge a lot nicer around here. Now that I've done the deep part. I don't think it's deep enough. I'm looking at it and I really don't think I pressed down hard enough. Okay, let's stamp it and see what happens. Okay, I have a feeling this is going to require a major adjustment. <laughs> Doesn't help when it sticks, right? Okay. Oh, Ugh, not too bad. But. I'm going to use this on a jelly plate, mm -hmm. so I want maximum color. Um, so I need to make adjustments here, and you can see the leftover black there, the little teeny bit, it's sitting up too high, so we'll get rid of that. And then there's some right here on the edges, so we will trim that right off. see if that helps any. So yeah, I can see where I made little gouges in it. And it's not too bad, but it's still bad enough that you, you can see it. So I think what I want to do is I want to put a semicircle here and a smaller one here, but they have to be the same size if I'm going to make this work. So it'll make all kinds of circles. Although, if I do something else here, to see this. I can't do it without knowing. So if I put this here and then put this here whoops trim that up a little bit better That's mighty stinking close. Ooh, uh, maybe I need to carve some of this off, cut some of that off. Oh, here we go with the dogs. I swear, every time I turn on the video camera. Okay. They're quiet for two seconds. I need to go. <laughs> I need to do this quick. 
And now the lawnmower, I swear. <laughs> okay. Well, it was my idea he should mow, so I guess that's my fault. All right, so maybe I could take the smaller one. I need to trim just a hair off of here. Just a teeny bit. All right, now let's try this again. <laughs> I want to see how this works. I don't want to mess this up. But then I have lots more days to do this, so. Put that there. Where's the other one? Here we go. And then put this one here. And the only thing that I would have to do to this is just carve around here, and that will give me color. That means less I have to carve around on the outside, huh? I want color. So when I use this on the jelly plate, there'll be color where all the black is. And I don't want color in between. So I'll have to carve around this and carve it out. Or I could leave it. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. All right, um, let's see. So we're gonna take Ipitsu, and we're going to draw a semicircle. Now, I'm sure you can't see this, but I can. So I'm gonna take this one and put it on the other side. So they kind of match. All right, let's put this down here. Draw the lines. Okay, so I don't want to carve out these. I only want to carve around those, right? <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. Okay, so let me carve around the circle. So at least I'll get that part done. All right, so I can see the pencil. I don't know if you guys can see the pencil. I can see the pencil. So I've taken the smallest chisel I've got and I'm chiseling out that part. So at least I can see where I'll have color and where I won't. So let's see, let's go halfway around this way. We need to go all the way to the end and then go around this way. So what I will get is the need to stamp. <laughs> I need to stamp it. I can't tell. See, that's why this is time consuming and I just did not plan ahead for this. So maybe tonight, instead of knitting, I need to think about all the other stuff that I need to do. <laughs> like plan. All right, let's see what we got here. So let's do it this way. Ugh, not horrible but I can see I need to trim a couple little pieces off here, off the edge. So you don't see that in the ink. All right, there's that. And then go back again this way. Because when I do a jelly print, I want the maximum amount of color, but I still want a design, right? Okay, so then I can butt this up against here, I think. And that should give me a circle or something close to it. Oh, look, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay. <laughs> oh, my.
mercy sakes alive. Okay, um, let me carve. Where's the Scoopy Doo? I need to make this go further down because if you I uh, use it on a jelly plate, I think that color will get in there, and I don't want any color in the circle like that. So I need to carve this down a little bit lower. Who knew that making circles was as complicated? Or maybe I'm just making it more complicated than it needs to be. It's probably choice number two. <laughs> okay, let's see, how do we look here? So when I do this, you know, I am not gonna be happy till I see. So let me whip out the jelly plate and slather some paint on it. I'll be right back. Okay, wow, it's really dark outside and it doesn't matter how much I throw on this. It, you can't see. Is that any better? Oh, there's shut. I've got like ceiling fan light on. Well, I thought I did. There we go. And I've got three other lights on and it still looks funky in here. I, I just can't you know, Mother Nature does what she has to do, despite recording. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take this on there. And let me clean this off on a piece of paper. Where's the stamp? Oh, here. And I need to stamp it off on yet another piece of paper because I learned, oh, that looks terrible. Because yesterday what happened, I had, oh, but it looks much better here. See, see what I mean by carving out because of the jelly plate? I need to carve this really further down, but for now, I want to see how it's going to look. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. I can't believe it. I like it. Mm. And then put it here. And what I will do is I will carve an arrow so I know which direction to, to do it. And I know that sounds really odd, but if you go up like this, you have to remember to, that uh, what's going to meet in the middle are these little ones, not the big ones. So I, I hope this is right. I might have to draw the design on the back side. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Oh my. That took off way more than I thought it was going to. Okay. That's not what I thought it was going to happen. <laughs> Every time I do something, I'm always surprised. Okay. So, you know, let's try it the opposite direction. No, let's not. <laughs> let's not change it up any because we need consistency here, don't we? All right, so I'm going to put this here. And then do this. I think the deal is I'm mashing down way harder in this section than I did in the beginning. And since it's warm in here with all the lights, I have a feeling that the paint is drying out much faster than normally would. And then I always try to do jelly prints in a hurry in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the summer months because the ceiling fan is like almost over my head and that causes the paint to dry out so fast. I hope I can get this to stick. I may have to spritz it with some water, although I don't really want to. All right, so there's that. Let's get a clean sheet of paper. And let's do it this way. I wonder if it'll stick because it may be too dry because I took too long. Right now we're in the 
dry season where we don't have as much humidity as in the summer months. The summer, it's like you get out of the shower, dry off, and then you have to dry off again because you're so sweaty already. Winter time, everything gets crispy. Okay, it's not going to do as well because I took too long, but I kind of don't hate it. All right, let me get some more paint. Let's do a yellow so we can see the contrast with the blue. Let's try this and see how we do. So it's kind of already dry. Whoop. Stick a little bit on there. Might have to have some more. Huh? Maybe not. Okay, here's the other one. We can do that, this one right on the edge there. Okay. Hopefully this will pick up the blue paint. I need one of those mashy downy things. It's not a brayer, it's a something, I don't know. Okay. Go slowly, darling, slowly, ever so slowly. Heh <laughs> look at there. It worked! Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, so let me wash this off, wash. Let me, uh, actually, Maybe I shouldn't scrub it up. Maybe I should just go ahead and start carving some of these these places a little deeper. Now I need to wipe it off. What would we do without baby wipes? Okay, wow, it's really dark outside and it doesn't matter how much I like throw on this. It, you can't see. Is that any better? Oh, there's a shot. I've got like ceiling fan light on. Well, I thought I did. There we go. And I've got three other lights on, and it still looks funky in here. I, I just can't, you know, Mother Nature does what she has to do, despite recording. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take this on there. And let me clean this off on a piece of paper. Where's the stamp? Oh, here. And I need to stamp it off on yet another piece of paper because I learned, oh, that looks terrible. Because yesterday what happened, I had Oh, but it looks much better here. See see what I mean by carving out because of the jelly plate? I need to carve this really further down. But for now, I want to see how it's going to look. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. I can't believe it. I like it. Mm. And then put it here. And what I will do is I will carve an arrow so I know which direction to, to do it. And I know that sounds really odd, but if you go up like this, you have to remember to, that uh, what's going to meet in the middle are these little ones, not the big ones. So I, I hope this is right. I might have to draw the design on the back side. Oh, look at that. Oh, my. Oh, my. That took off way more than I thought it was going to. Okay. That's not what I thought it was going to happen. <laughs> Every time I do something, I'm always surprised. Okay. So, you know... Let's try it the opposite direction. No, let's not. <laughs> let's not change it up any because we need consistency here, don't we? All right, so I'm going to put this here. And then do this. 
I think the deal is I'm mashing down way harder in this section than I did in the beginning. And since it's warm in here with all the lights, I have a feeling that the paint is drying out much faster than normally would. And then I always try to do jelly prints in a hurry in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the summer months because the ceiling fan is like almost over my head and that causes the paint to dry out so fast. I hope I can get this to stick. I may have to spritz it with some water, although I don't really want to. All right, so there's that. Let's get a clean sheet of paper. And then let's do it this way. I wonder if it'll stick, because it may be too dry, because I took too long. Right now we're in the dry season where we don't have as much humidity as in the summer months. The summer, it's like you get out of the shower, dry off, and then you have to dry off again because you're so sweaty already. Wintertime, everything gets crispy. Okay, it's not going to do as well because I took too long, but I kind of don't hate it. All right, let me get some more paint. Let's do a yellow so we can see the contrast with the blue. Let's try this and see how we do. So it's kind of already dry. Oop, stick a little bit on there. Might have to have some more. Huh? Maybe not. Okay, here's the other one. We can do that, this one, right on the edge there. Hopefully this will pick up the blue paint. I need one of those mashy downy things. It's not a brayer, it's a something, I don't know. Okay. Go slowly, darling, slowly, ever so slowly. Heh <laughs> look at there. It worked. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, so let me wash this off, wash. Let me, uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't scrub it up. Maybe I should just go ahead and start carving some of these, these places a little deeper. Now I need to wipe it off. What would we do without baby wipes? And I'm not sure even this is going to get it cleaned off, but we're going to give it ye old college try. As soon as we figure out how to open up the baby wipe. <laughs> oh, I got two. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, look at that. That'll make a lovely book, clover, book cover someday, huh? cleaned up as best we can. I wanted a lot of color on it. I got enough, I guess. All right, so let me set this aside and let's do some deep digging because on a jelly plate, when you press down, it tends to go a bit deeper so that means we have to carve this out deeper and I don't want to carve it completely to the other side I do want to however get rid of as much of the color area what would be color area because I plan on using this on jelly plates so if you use ink ink like you know ink pads I don't think this will be an issue but on jelly plates, because it's got so much bounce to it and spring and give, I think that's an issue. And since that's the main place I'm going to use this, I need to carve deeper than what I thought. I'm sorry about the lawnmower. <laughs> or 
dogs got out of the fence because my husband was trying to get the lawnmower out of the fence to go mow, and my next door neighbor has 10 dogs. And then my two are the ones that get out and cause everybody in the neighborhood to go berserk. Ouch. Okay. Uh, wonder if I need to go in these a little deeper. No. No. Okay. Because I don't want to mess up the circle. It looks not horrible now, so let's not screw it up. Okay. So now I'm going to try something different. A jelly plate that I'm going to wipe off a bit. What? That's rubber. That's on the other side. <laughs> or it's stained. May, might be stained. I don't have any hand sanitizer handy. Okay. And now we need a towel to dry it off so that the stuff sticks. All right, so I'm going to try this. I don't think this is going to show up very well. I wonder if my ink pad's too dry. Hmm. Okay, that's not going to work because it is too dry. So, plan B. Oh, look, I already got red ink in there. So, obviously, this side needs to be cut down more. So, before I stamp anything, let me go around here one more time. And trim it down. See, the thing is, is when you do these stamps, it's a lot of trial and error. And that's why you stamp stuff over and over and over to be sure you see what you want to see. Get the results you want to get. Oh. You know why I record at 3 a.m.? <laughs> because there's a dog barking in the living room and my husband is mowing the lawn. <laughs> Okay, so what do I want to do to this? What I want to do is use a better pad. See if it's my pad or if it's the stamp. I have a feeling it could be the pad. No. Okay, let's go this way already that way. It's my choice of colors, I guess. I don't understand why nothing's showing up on the plate. Well, if I put a piece of white paper under there, you'll be able to see it better. And I'll be able to see it better. Oh my word. Okay, we have to do this because I can't see what I'm stamping. <laughs> you see it any better? Y'all might see it, but I don't see it. All right, so what way were we going? I don't remember. Phooey. I think this way. Oh, nice. Very good, Gracie. I think I stamped that already. So this is going to be a whole unholy mess by the time I get done. All right, so there's that. I have a feeling this is not, not going to be the results I was hoping for. But, you know, if you don't try, you'll never know. When this may say you learn more from your mistakes than you do your successes, of course. If it's a success, you don't ever try again. If it's a mistake, you keep trying to make it right. Right? All right. Yeah, do this this way. Now, I, I want to put some kind of paint over it. Let's do the yellow. See if this works. Well, 
Alrighty. Rub a dub dub. All right. <laughs> Son of a gun. Look at that. Ta-da! And it took some of the other stuff off. So it does work. Well, I'll be. I am so pleased with myself today. <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, I'm not thrilled about that on the side, but still. I mean, it, it works. All right, so let's... Let us, <laughs> let us try this. All right, so I want to take an ink pen, ink pen, ink pen. Where are they? Right there. And this is the large size. Those are the little ones. And this is the large. Look at that. I'm so happy. So now, I need to think about something in the middle. Maybe I could paint or doodle in the middle or something. I think my pad needs to be a tad juicier. But for the most part, it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Yeah. So there you go. Day number three. Hey! <laughs> I'll see you guys on four.